this vehicle is almost top of the range as far as Hymer is concerned. It's not quite top of the range. It's not quite the most expensive uh, vehicle, but it's almost the most expensive. This thing here will cost 217,000 euros. So this is the uh, MLI 880. And there you have some of the details about it. Nine meters long, 235 wide, 296, and with four or five uh, sleeping places. On a five and a half ton basis, this will give well over a ton of payload. Now, there is more information in the description. It's very possible that I could forget something. And in fact, not possible, it's highly probable. Uh, in fact, it's almost a certainty that something will have been forgotten by me. What's top of the range? I think it's now the Venture S, the uh, rather odd camping vehicle that is about to be released today. Anyway, I say today, but by the time this video gets uh, comes out, then it'll probably have been some time ago. So, note this to start off with. Flat floor all the way to the front. So, and note that also the amount of storage there is in the floor. This is a double floor. It's called an SLC chassis. And what they've done, they've put all the technical stuff in the double floor. So you can see there, you've got the fuses, you've got the uh, infrastructure there for the, the heating system, and you've got some cabling. Now the cabling has to go somewhere, and under the floor is as good a place as any. Batteries go in here, and this one here has, uh, you can extend it to quite some way. I, I would have thought you could have Depends on the size of the batteries, of course, but uh, maybe you can get as much as 700, maybe even more uh, amps of lithium uh, in there. Now, in my case, it would be lithium ferrous phosphate. Fuses there. And coming down here, we'll see things like the uh, place for storage. And down there, you've got water tanks. So this to me, if I were to buy a motorhome, I would insist on getting one with a double floor. Indeed, when I come to build one, uh, it will have a double floor. Now, another thing which I think is of super importance is storage here. We've got huge amount of storage down there. We've got a big wardrobe there under the bed. Here we've got shelving. Oops, sorry, jump put the light on. And the bed. Let's have a look how the bed works. We have got something here which will fit down here and allow this to come in to fill in the gap. And uh, I'm not putting put it in here because of use, use of one hand. But also, I do like to demonstrate that this here, I've never seen this done before, but you could always use it as a separation between, if you want to use it as two single beds, and like that, You've got a place to put, as this shows, your books or anything else, your alarm clock or whatever, phone, uh, uh, that you might have with you. Storage above the, uh, and uh, here as well, I'll open this one up. One thing I like in vehicles is the, uh, like this is is this it's it's a it's a dressing room so close this one up here put that like that and i've got this huge 
dressing area and this will also close as well sorry i didn't show you that anyway there you go yeah well i'll move it back again so you can see how, how it works so that now i'm in the dressing area and lots of lots of uh, uh space huge amount of space in here i think this is really good it's like like being in a hotel and uh so come over here we'll have a look in this wardrobe and this one stacks of clothing in there down here as well one thing i don't like though is that the timer uses these what cheap drawers and on a van like this i think they could have done better i've got to find got to find something negative to say and that's uh, these drawers oh what's negative um shower is enormous as you can see right so uh, so there's me standing next to it so it gives you an idea i mean a person here you've got all this clear a clearance up there there we go so that's what one that's probably two meters high i think it's about 198 in height or something something along those lines here we have the Truma Aventa uh, aircon uh, system and uh, now I need to point out though for that thing there to work you've got to be on hookup. Um, now I saw some figures about how long you leave an aircon unit on using an inverter and uh, even with you know you had 700 ampere hours of um, batteries well, unless you were planning on uh, getting getting uh, on hook up the following day, charge them up again, that might that might uh, uh, not last all that long. <laughs> um, so uh, three burner, no, sorry, should I say two burners plus an induction hob, and you now this could be linked up to work off the batteries. Now that's slightly different because you're not leaving that on all the time as you do with the aircon. So I must have pointed this out, of course, the aircon doesn't use as much fuel as does uh, the, the, the heating energy, I should say, um, but all the same. Um, I think there's better ways, and I think the best way is to use a fan in a vehicle because it, when you suction fans, okay, it doesn't, it's not quite as nice as aircon, but it, at least it works at 12 volts without having to charge up all the time. Outstanding kitchen, isn't it? I mean, it's really big, lots of, uh, lots of workspace around. Very, very attractive. Now, in a previous videos, I've questioned why it does Heimer have this here. Well, I suppose if you get something like these uh, Fuchs's um, spices, then, then the, they, they sort of fit in there and that wouldn't fall out when you're driving. But as far as I'm concerned, that bit there should just be covered. Now I'm going to take the glasses down, put them down here, and open this up. Ooh. Look, I cut myself. Oof. <laughs> Sorry, um, cut myself opening this. Don't know what. Ooh, that really, really hurt me. That did. Anyway, down there, got the television, and. Um, good <laughs> uh, i say uh in pain uh from what what the uh <laughs> um up there got the bed the bed will drop down uh, to make the bed drop down you've got to put, put bring the seats down as well and uh that uh i can't really demonstrate it just using one hand but if i get the opportunity to do it in a showroom then i'll do it there um now we have something here which is now becoming unusual that is to say a door on the driver's side in an integrated vehicle now there's two lot thoughts on this matter if you've got a door then you can get out and put some fuel in it with easily on the other hand this is the way i look at it i'd rather just have one door just one lot of security to worry about so uh, anyway, let's see if we can bring the bed down a little bit. 
and I can't. I just wanted to bring it down a little bit to show you, but I can't show it anyway. So uh, it's also possible to make a bed here, so you could actually get five people in here if you, if you wanted to. Uh, USBs there, USBs in the back. Here we've got a fridge, which opens both ways. There's the freezer, which also opens both ways. And there is the oven, which only opens one way. And as you can see, I mean, you can't get a whole chicken in there, but you can get a pizza in there. And next to that, we've got this wardrobe so there's a stack of storage i mean for two people in retirement this would be this would be pretty good so i'll open this one here back up again got a nice new smell about it as well This here is for the suspension system. So um, we've got storage. Let's see if we can open this one here. Here you got storage, outer storage. But note this, it goes all the way through to the side. So you've got you know, if you want to carry some scaffolding or uh, lumps of wall or something like that, then it would fit in there. And here, I think this is locked, so we're not going to get in this one. Else we are. Uh -huh. Enormous garage, which will take 350 kilos of weight. Out, it's got an outside shower, and here we have two 230 volt plugs. Now, uh, it could do, of course, with 12 volts, you can charge an electric bike up in there without having to go via an uh, in inverter. It is possible, of course, all these two 30 volt ones in the vehicle to actually uh, link them up to an inverter. So that's the BMLI 880. Now, please look at the uh, description because there's more information there, things which I've forgotten. You never know, I might have got something wrong. Uh, so that will all be in there. And uh, so thanks very much for watching. I hope you found that of interest. And all the best from me in Dusseldorf, Germany. <laughs>